What is going on YouTube? Jivy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. We are back with some more MLB 17 Diamond Dynasty. We are doing yet another squad builder like thing. I really don't know what to call it. So we'll just call it a squad builder. But basically we are just taking a team and throwing some players that maybe he played with or teams he played on or etc etc. Basically just the starting lineup. Not too concerned with the pitching and whatnot. Especially since I have a couple pitches I haven't, I haven't really done. But basically, we're going to unlock some cards today. So, we are going in to the, first and foremost, the Impact Veteran Program for Roy Oswald. We are going to collect our rewards. We're going to go ahead and redeem them. We're going to get one program pack here. We're going to open those as well. We are also going to unlock Roy Oswald and throw him in the rotation. Now, of course, I don't do... Um, debuts or squad builders with pitchers just because they're it's pretty inconsistent and when you get them but i do believe i got three pitchers in my rotation now when i add roy oswald uh that haven't pitched with the main squad uh but really quickly uh, i think i could have just stayed in missions gonna go into the dynasty program uh and unlock these as well impact veteran oswald and uh, Impact Veteran Hanley Ramirez. Okay, you moved on me. Thank, thanks a lot for making me look really stupid. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and unlock that and just going to kind of give you guys a preview of what is uh, to come. Most likely tomorrow, going to go back into programs. Dynasty program. And we are one away. Can we redeem these five packs without redeeming um, Cal Ripken? Because we're going to redeem that in the next episode. You know what? I'm not even going to unlock that. That doesn't count for this episode. That counts in the Roy Oswald episode. Going to go ahead and, uh, or not Roy Oswald, in the Cal Ripken. We're only going to open one. I'll open the other five in the Cal Ripken episode. And you know what? It, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't pull anything in these anyways. So really quickly, let's add the new addition to the squad. Uh, we do got a new starting pitcher, Roy Oswald. Like I said, not going to be upset if we don't get him. Just going to go ahead and replace uh, Chris Archer. But other than that, we got these three pitchers who I don't think I've debuted in a Diamond Dynasty game. I may have played with them in offline games. Uh, but that's about it. Now, I do want to apologize to you guys for not being up to date with the uh, shoutouts of the day for the Notification Squad. Of course, if you want to join that, all you have to do is, as soon as this video goes live, we will be doing it tomorrow and going on for the videos for today, is... As soon as the video goes live, make sure you are a part of the notification squad that the bell is on, that you like the video and you subscribe, to, or you are subscribed to the channel. And uh, as soon as that, ha as soon as the video goes live, just either tweet me a photo, or if you don't have Twitter, on Instagram, uh, and I'll pick one person to shout out uh, per video, hopefully. So that's how we're gonna do that. But there we go. We're gonna add Hanley Ramirez in for Edwin. This is the lineup we're going with. Now, of course, I could have added guys like. Um, Mookie Betts and, and, you know, a couple other guys like uh, the Adrian Gonzalez you get for unlocking the AL East. But those guys are coming in uh, the squad builder once I am done with the Boston Red Sox. But we got Ben Benintendi, Jose Reyes, Hanley, Giancarlo Stanton. This is what I like about the way I'm doing this. It's not all OP teams, although I have not used... Giancarlo Stanton all season so it's allowing me to play with different cards you know a Logan Morrison card with amazing power versus right not very good context so I am using different cards I am getting to use different cards and, and look look at the bench Bonifacio Maybin even though I, I use him a bit in MVP series uh we got Yasiel Puig on the bench uh pitching not really worried I'm leaving it the same but it does allow me to use a bunch of different cards so I am having a lot of fun with this uh, system we're doing and as you see chipper jones is the next one. Uh, I don't think i'm recording that till tomorrow Uh, probably by the time you guys can comment down and let me know who you want to put see chipper in But it's most likely going to be live series oreo player since I do have the oreos unlocked But anyways, let's jump into a head-to-head -head game Uh, we are in division series. I just I haven't played enough. I think i'm only 4-0 Um, but you know what this is a dodger card. So I guess that's the stadium We are going to be picking don't know where I was going but let's do this. All right, perfect. We got Roy Oswald in the first game, but look at the squad we're going against. The uh, Holly Springs Hawks. How did I get matched up versus this team? Uh, his uh, rating must be pretty low then. Ken Griffey Jr., Hanley, Kent Murphy. Shout out to Kent Murphy parody account for retweeting my video today. Joey Votto, Buddy Bell, Sean Green, Vimar, Barry Larkins, and Kluber on the mound versus Oswald. Let's do this. 
Holy cow, 66 and 60. How have you played that many games this season? I've played four games and I'm a content creator for this game, bro. What does that say about me? All right, let's get it going. Let's get this Roy Oswald going. I do believe I, I heard something about a nasty curveball. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and just test pitches out, even though we are facing this 92 overall Ken Griffey. And on the second pitch of the game, we're gonna jam him and destroy his bat for the first out. 0-2 count to this Hanley. We are gonna waste one here up in the zone. And that was just too enticing. And we got our first K with Roy Oswald. Holy crap, look at those stats. Bro, this man has Team Collector unlocked. Like, that is the first time I see that happen. I didn't like it, but the inning is over. Bro, this man's got Team Collector and, I, and I've got guys like Andrew Benintendi leading it off for me. And yeah, that, that's pretty much how we're gonna start this game. Good, but I pulled off. All right, Jose Reyes up next. 1-0 count versus Kluber. I don't even know why I went after that ball. All right, here it is. Our first at bat with Hanley Ramirez, a demigod. I'm power swinging, I'm sorry. And that ball is ripped to right field. That ball is deep and it is a ground rule double. We got Stanton up next, 1-1 one, one count. Ooh, good change up. All right, so here's my first at bat with Stanton, one, two count. And that ball is just absolutely crushed. That is gone. Oh my God, that ball was crushed. And we got a 2-0 lead. Thanks to Stanton and Hanley Ramirez. Wish that was still a thing. Lomo's gonna line one to right field to end the inning. All right, 2-1 count. We've fallen behind to Joey Votto. But we're gonna get a tapper to the pitcher. Oswald fields his position. Easy play when it's 34 speed. He's, he's being a clown over at first base, um, but we're gonna strike him out. I'd much rather gotten a ground ball double play out of that, because now we gotta face Victor Martinez, and this is honestly one of the cards that was just made extremely too easy for people to get. But we're gonna get a ground ball to the second baseman, D Gordon there, inning over. All right, so we got one out and Jackie Bradley up. We got a ball up in the zone, turned on it well. That's a base hit to right field. That is solid right there. I don't know if you guys know this, but I can kind of hit regardless of who the cards are. Once the game is fixed a little bit, I feel like since the patch, I've been hitting a little bit better. And that is a double play ball. I don't know if they'll turn it, but it's a fielder's choice for D Gordon. And with the pitcher on deck, this inning is over. And we should have taken that pitch. Barry Larkin leading off the third inning. What the hell just happened? Quickly an 0-2 count to Larkin. Let's hit a good spot here with Oswald. Not where I wanted that fastball at all. But we're going to get a pop fly in the infield. That is the first out of the inning. And that is how you want to start an inning. Really, really unfortunate that we missed that spot. That would have been great to get ahead with that fastball. But we're going to get a chopper to the mound. I don't know if we can get this. Nope, because you're going to take an extra three steps to throw the ball, and that is an infield hit. All right, Hanley Ramirez up. He's got the chance to tie the game. That was the pitch to do it. 0-1 count. And we're going to get a pop-up to the catcher, and as long as we don't get any stupid animations, we are out of another inning so far. Oswa is looking phenomenal. All right, we got Hanley back up. Like I said, we are power swinging until we got two strikes with Hanley. I don't even know how I made contact with that, but you know what? That is our second base hit with Hanley Ramirez. I can't get my players to throw the ball with three steps, and I don't even know how he got that ball in so quickly. All right, two strikes, no more power swing. Let's just let's just make good contact here and square one up. All right, we squared that one up. I'm j we just barely missed that ball. If this field were a little bit smaller, that would have been a home run. Two two count. Kemp Murphy leading off the fourth. Oh, dear God. If you are safe, I'm going to be so mad. Wow. Wow. I don't think you understand how upset I would have been if that ball were, were, uh, were safe on that. Let's see if we can get a good sinker here. Looks like a good spot. There it is. Three, six, three double play. That is a thing of beauty right there. We're out of another inning. 
All right, Sean Green is here leading off the fifth inning. Roy Oswalt looking very good through four, but I hung that pitch terribly. And that's a leadoff base hit, not where I want to be. Beverly Hills is where I want to be. Oh, yeah, this is this is definitely not where I want to be. A runner on base with V-Mart on deck. Good timing, apparently. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got one out. We got a good ground ball hit in the infield hard to a corner infielder. We are definitely coming home with it. But that's going to be a base hit to right field. And there's only one out. Runner is going. We actually got a meter, and I think he is absolutely hosed. All right, here we go. 0-2 count of stat, and he still can tie this game with one swing. Oh, we threw that fastball up and in in a good spot, and we are out of the inning still with the lead intact, but not by much. All right, my opponent's controller situation has been resolved. 0-2 count to Benintendi. And I thought I did a good job taking that pitch, but that is a strike. Who thought variable was a good idea online in competitive play? Who, who thought that was a good idea? All right, nonetheless, we got Hanley back up two for two on the day. You know what? I thought since we had two pitches away that we did work with, I thought that we could do it again, but that was just bad. I failed myself because I knew that pitch was coming. I'm disappointed in myself. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand ball physics enough. See, like, I was early, so I expect the ball to be a little bit higher. That's what happens as a pitcher when your release point is higher or earlier than where it should have been in. We're going to get a ground ball from Griffey. I'm going to shut my mouth and stop complaining and just play the damn game. Giancarlo Stanton leading off the six, and he is intentionally walking me to start an inning. I don't think I've seen this much respect ever. But you know what? Lomo's up next. We've, we've uh, hit the ball well twice. And that is a base hit. And Lomo has hit the ball well in all three at-bats. Jackie Bradley up. That looks like a double play ball. But Jackie Bradley has decent enough speed to beat that out. All right, D. Gordon up. Pitcher on deck. I don't think he knew that. And that is a mistake. That ball is laced down the line. I am really hoping... This is a triple. Bad throw to the plate, and we are in there. Triple, two RBIs for D. Gordon. Let's go. Now I don't have to take Roy Oswald out of the game. My opponent has requested a concede, and you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it to him. All right, so I know this episode was much shorter than normal. We only played six out of nine innings, but I'm, you know, someone gives you a concede. I don't think you deny that. We're at 766 now, 5-0 and oh on the season. Um, really quickly, just in the three at bats I had with Hanley, uh, it's what you expected from the card. He's, it, it's truly a demigod at the plate. Roy Oswald in six innings I pitched with him, I just felt in absolute control. Like the card, maybe a card that most likely will be in my rotation for a while uh, until I pitch more and realize that maybe he's not as good as I thought. Uh, but we still got two other guys that I have yet to use in uh, Diamond Dynasty being Vita Blue and uh, Lance McCullers. But I do have the Chipper Jones debut with uh oreos players in it coming soon most likely tomorrow hope you guys did enjoy this video if you want to be a part of the notification squad or if you want a shout out for being in the notification squad make sure you join the notification squad hit that bell join the notification squad we're just you know i honestly i love the notification gang but anyways make sure you join like the video if you did enjoy if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and peace